guys doing today? Welcome back to another video. So let me ask you guys a question here. Have you ever been shooting and you look at your footage and you're like, you know, this has been a little bit cooler if there was some lightning in there? Yeah, like that. Exactly like that. You know what? Today's your lucky day. I'm going to show you guys how to do that entirely in Premiere Pro without having to use any other plugins or stock footage or anything but Premiere Pro itself. And, uh... I have a little bit of a better example than that, but it's a really simple process that hopefully you guys can, you know, plug away and get some good use out of it in the future. So, uh, yeah, let's dive in Premiere and check this out. Okay, so on my timeline, I have the clip set up that I want to use, and this is uh, just stock footage of downtown Chattanooga, Tennessee. So I'm scrolling through, and you guys can see what this clip looks like raw. I want to get my lightning, I want it to strike behind the post office slash courthouse over here. So I'm going to make a cut right here in my clip. I'm going to hit the C button on my uh, keyboard to pull up the razor tool. I'm just going to cut right there. Now for this particular scene, I want the lightning burst to be about half a second. But you might need to adjust that based on your clip. So it might be longer or shorter. Just see whatever works for you. This clip was shot at 24 frames a second here, so I'm going to count out 12 frames to make that half a second. So I'm just gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I'm just gonna make my cut there. I'm going to hit V on the keyboard to pull back the main cursor. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over, I got the effects panel open. I am going to go under video effects, I'm gonna go under generate, and I'm going to pull up lightning. I'm gonna drag that and I'm gonna drop it onto my clip. All right, so now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on where it says lightning and it's going to pull up these crosshairs here. I'm just going to drag this somewhere up here in the middle at the top and then I'm going to drag the other side and I'm going to pull it somewhere down below the street. Now the reason why I'm doing that is because I want it to naturally look, um, I'm going to blend it behind the building but I want it to look like it's coming all the way through and all the way down. So it's, you know, it's not like just lighting on the top here. Okay, so now the very next step I'm going to do is I am going to just uh, pull up the lightning a little bit better. And I don't want to adjust any of these things here, but I will pull up the width. So I'm going to take the width and I'm going to pull that to, uh, let's, let's start with 20 and let's see how that looks. I'm going to just change the blending mode to screen. And now I'm going to hold down on the clip and I'm going to hold down on the alt key. And I'm going to drag this up and duplicate this. And now I'm just going to delete the lightning effect on here. You can see the lightning is not showing up at all right now, but that's fine. I'm going to go back over to the effects. I'm going to type in Luma under keying, video effects keying, Luma key, and I'm going to pull that and I'm going to drag that onto my clip. So now what I want to do is I want to reveal the lightning. So, you know, right about there, the lightning Your lightning looks pretty good. You know, we could see it. Um, okay, so now if I adjust the width a little bit more, like let's say if I pull it up to 30, it's a little more visible, and so that, that looks better. So I'm just gonna scrub through the clip and just make sure that it's staying behind the building, in which it is. Okay, it looks fine. So very next step now is I'm going to hold down the clip, hold down the alt key, drag it up, duplicate this clip again, and I'm going to delete the Luma key. Great. Now what I want to do is I want to set the blend mode to vivid light. So you can see right here is this is what this looks like. I'm just going to drag this out. You can drag it out, you know, as long as you want. It doesn't need to take the whole clip. It just depends on, you know, how long you want this next step to last. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to Lumetri Color. And I'm going to take the exposure. That's the only thing I'm going to adjust here is the exposure. And I'm going to drag it down to about minus three and a half. Okay. Now what I'm going to do here is right in the center is I'm going to start a keyframe for the opacity. So I'm going to make that, um, I'm going to make that about... 80% and yeah okay 80% there and then I'm going to drop this down let's say you know let's say let's make this uh 50% mm, bring it down to 20 okay And then over here, I'm just going to bring it down to 
to zero, bring that back up. And then over here, I might, you know, somewhere out here, I might bring this back down to 50. And then later on 20. And then zero. Okay. So I'm going to pull this now. And uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back down to this clip again. I'm going to drag it up, duplicate it one more time. And, uh, you know, of course, delete the Luma key. I'm going to set the blending mode now to pin light because I think uh, pin light looks good. And I'm going to go back over to Lumetric Color, but I'm going to take the exposure all the way up to 5. So, um, so basically what I want to do is just create a flash effect here. So I'm going to go back to the opacity. I am going to, uh, actually I'm going to make one keyframe to 0. Set another keyframe to 0 on either side of this. And then I'm going to set one for 100 right in the middle. Okay, so now to complete the look of this clip, we want to get some sound effects in here. So where I got the sound for the thunder was actually the YouTube audio library. So I'll just pull up my internet. And uh, if you want a quick shortcut to this window here, just type in youtube.com slash audio library. You don't need to type in slash sound effects, just slash audio library and hit enter and it'll pull up this screen. So uh, then you just click over to sound effects and then type in thunder. Go ahead and hit search. And then over here where it says Thundercrack, you want to download this. And then when this is downloaded, you can just drag this right onto your timeline. Okay, so the way that it comes out of the box is not super realistic sounding. So I wanted to speed up this clip, but one thing I want to do with this as well is duplicate it. So I'm going to hold down, click, drag on the Alt key drag it down one below it, and then I'm just going to right click on this and go over to speed duration and I'm going to type in 235%. And I'm just going to leave just all that the way it is. And I'm just going to hit the plus sign to zoom in over here. And I'm going to pull this. I want this wavelength to start at the very beginning of the clip because there's always a little bit of a delay uh, whenever you hear the sound of thunder, and I'm just going to take this and I'm going to line this up over here. So we've got this in here. So let's go ahead and listen back to this and hear how it sounds. Great. That sounds and looks pretty good, pretty decent. Now you can adjust, you know, a lot of the parameters within this. Like let's say if you want the sky to ramp up darker, you can, uh, you can make some adjustments with that. So like, you know, like, let's say this is I want it to be much darker by the time it comes here because that's how most storms look. You know, you can go ahead and do that. And it'll look a little bit better, a little bit more realistic. But, you know, it's, it depends on the clip and what you're trying to achieve with it. So, um, you know, I mean, after this clip here, too, I can keep this much darker. So I can, you know, I can pull that out of here and I can leave this at 50%. Or even, you know, or even higher. So let's say uh, I want to leave this at, you know, maybe 66%. And then, and then start ramping this down. You know, whatever you want to make your effect look a little more realistic, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, the cool thing about this effect is that it works on a wide variety of clips. You just have to tweak and adjust it to make it look a little more natural within your scene, but yeah, go ahead and give this a try. All right, well, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys learned something from this video. Remember, if you liked it, leave a like. If you want to say something nice, you know, always feel free to comment or if you have a question about this. If you're new here, subscribe. And if you want to be my best friend ever, share this video. Thank you guys so much. I will see you soon. Bye.